Hello, Aries viewers. Let's see what's going on with your person. See what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Let's see what's going on. I do have a, um, a raffle going on too. So if you donate a dollar, you get one raffle ticket. And you, if you win, you get a free in-depth video reading. I'll be announcing the winner on the 22nd. So and I don't really get that many donations. So even if you just donate a dollar, your chances are still pretty good. <laughs> my cash app and my PayPal info is below. All donations are appreciated. Just leave your email address. And if you win, I will send you an email on the 22nd. All right, so let's see what's going on with your person. Submissive and weak-willed, nostalgia, longing. So finally giving in to their feelings for you. You know, they're giving in. There's this very emotional energy between the two of you right now. And I don't know if you're talking or not, but it could just be like telepathic. You know, like you're just really thinking about them and you can feel that they're thinking about you too. Um, you guys are just really longing for each other. For each other. There's this nostalgia, this, this just missing each other. We've got domination and control, betrayal, jealousy, and conflict, spying, loyalty, stability, vows. So it's pretty good energy overall. There's some mixed energy, like there's some pain. You know, this is like kind of a, a up, like an unstable connection, but there is love here. There is a lot of love for sure. Sadness, taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other, mutual feelings, emotional depth. I sense a lot of passion here too, definitely. Let me get... We have a couple cards to sum up what this reading is all about. Pray, stalked, invaded, watched. So yeah, they're really nostalgic for you right now. They're thinking about you. They're missing you. They're trying to manifest you. They're longing for you. Her last day in the light. Unexpected in ending, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. So I actually say that to be kind of like a good thing. Because it's like this like, like epiphanies, like sudden shifts, you know, um just surprises it's like you guys are just it's a very fast moving energy can i get one more card oh i got the same one oh my god <laughs> can i get one more how did i get the same one again <laughs> okay there's something about this card like the birds or like something in her hair that's a sign for one of you guys because this card keeps coming up her last day in the light, unexpected ending, surprise, changes, sudden shifts. Okay, so look at the colors. There's some kind of message in this card for you guys. Okay, let me try one more time. Just can I get one more card? To know personal evidence, to speak out. Hmm. It's kind of like the spying card witness. It's like they're really watching you right now. There's some really, there's some intense energy here. All right. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like, I think at the last reading I did for you, Aries, I was getting that you were showing up in their dreams, like they were becoming more and more aware of this telepathic connection, like this psychic connection that you guys have, maybe becoming aware that your soulmates are twin flames, there was just some kind of energy that they were just really, um, just the telepathic connection has been strong with you guys lately, I feel. I think they're giving, <clears throat> I think they're giving in. <clears throat> I think they're giving in to their emotions more. I think before they were trying to be kind of logical about this connection, like they were trying to keep it on the back burner. And I feel like that time is coming to an end. Like they're just, they're just submissive to this connection. Like they're, they're nostalgic for you. They're missing you. Um, you're on their mind a lot. They can't really just forget about you. Like your beauty, your mystery, your your enchantment, like just who you are, like your your adventurousness, your spunk, your personality. It's just things that they can't let go of. It's like they think about memories with you or they think about things you've said or done and they just smile and they just, they miss you. They really love you for who you are. I kind of feel like they tried to sabotage this connection in the past. 
Like they tried to dominate and control this connection. They tried to under they tried to put it into this little box and they couldn't put you into this box. You know what I mean? It's like like see this person with this knife, it's like betrayal, jealousy, conflict. It's also just somebody who's very um like defensive and kind of distrusting, kind of expecting the worst from others. And it's like they kind of tried to sabotage this connection. And I think they pushed you away. I don't think they pushed you away for good, but I think that now they're spying on you because it's like maybe they pushed you away enough to the point where you guys aren't really talking anymore at least or you guys are very rarely talking. <clears throat> Could be some throat chakra blocks because I keep coughing again and again and again. Oh. Um... I do want to say too, this could also be somebody new and it could be both actually. This could be two different people because I get, I get a couple different energies. I keep getting that, that you guys, you Aries, I mean, all of, all of the collective Zodiacs, I get new people that have either just come in or are coming in. And this is really standing out right now for this group of Aries that there's, there's <clears throat> another potential life partner that's, that's about to come in or that has already come in. And it could also be that they're picking up on your energy and they're having dreams about you and they're feeling like they're going to meet you soon. And they might feel like they're a little bit crazy. Like they might not understand this kind of psychic connection because they could be having dreams about someone and they've never met you or maybe they just met you and they don't know you that well. So like when you show up in their dreams, they feel kind of crazy. Like, why am I dreaming about this person? Or if you guys haven't met and you've just connected in the astral realm and... um and, you know, you guys are, like, telepathically, con like, communicating, like, astrally, telepathically through your dreams, but you've never met in person. Like, this person might feel kind of like they're going crazy because they're like, why do I keep having dreams about this, this stranger? Like, why do I keep feeling like I'm going to be in a relationship out of nowhere soon when I'm not even talking to anybody? Like, why do I feel this love coming in? Like, who is this person? Like, am I just lonely? Like, they're trying to comprehend what energy this is that they're feeling, um, so, so yeah, two different stories here. And for some of you, both stories are accurate. So for some of you, this, again, this person is like, this is like a past life connection, but you guys maybe haven't met this lifetime yet. And so you're telepathically communicating, planning out how and where and when to meet, making sure you're both ready for it. And they might be kind of trying to dominate and control it because they're not used to that kind of psychic connection coming in all at once. And they might just be kind of like looking out for this connection and trying to figure out what's going on. But, um, <clears throat> and maybe even sad because it's like, maybe they're kind of starting to think like, maybe I'm just lonely. Maybe I'm just like fantasizing about this person, you know, cause they're like channeling you, they're channeling your energy and they're thinking about you, but they've never met you. And so they don't understand it. So they might feel like, like a loyalty to you, but also like a sadness, like, wow, am I so lonely that I'm like, imagine like imagining this person up that I've never even met you know what I mean but like when they when you guys meet it's gonna move fast um but for others of you this is somebody that you already know and again it could be both this could be for a lot of you I get it's it's both it's 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 um somebody new coming in and this story is also about somebody from your past that's nostalgic and missing you and they've been logical in the past about this connection and they were kind of on edge and kind of tried to sabotage it. But now they're they're caving in and they're emotional. There is a lot of raw emotion and romance and passion in this energy that I get for this group. Um, and they're they're giving into this emotion, this nostalgia, this longing for you. They're realizing that they shouldn't have sabotaged it. So now they're kind of just spying on you and watching and trying to see what's going on. They're like maybe checking on your social media. And they're wanting to make these vows. They're wanting to do right by you. They're wanting to be loyal and, um, you know, stable for you. They're wanting to give you a commitment. And they feel this sadness because they feel like they might have lost that chance. And they want to be closer to you, but they, for whatever reason, they feel like they can only like watch you from afar. Like, so it's like they, they miss you. They're longing for you but there's this distance and that distance is causing them pain, but they want to try to like take it slow. And, um, you know, it's like you're pulling them in and you guys are getting to know each other and you're, you're, you know, you're taking it slow, but it's like, they, they just long for you. They miss you. Like they want it to move faster. Um, but again, this could be someone who kind of messed things up. And so they're not sure what to say or do next, but there are, there are a lot of like mutual, you know, see mutual feelings, emotional depth. 
there's lots of, of raw emotion, just like a very intense, passionate connection here. That's what I get for, for both, for both, for the old person. And this could be like a family member or a friend even. It might not necessarily be romantic. The new person, though, I feel is romantic for you guys, um, at least. And both could be romantic, but, you know, you know what your story is. But both people are giving into their emotions for you. Like, there's, like, a lot of love here. There's a lot of... Because this new person is going to be moving fast when you meet them, I feel. Um, it's just, it's a lot of passion, a lot of romance, a lot of love here. I sense a lot of pain, too. Like, somebody that's just really wanting to be close to you and they don't know how. Maybe they're damaged and they don't know how to talk to you or they feel like they mess things up. Or maybe something's keeping them away from you, like distractions or something's pulling you guys apart. But they really miss you. I think divine intervention and synchronicity is at play here too, where it's like this person is, um, like your guides are intervening and trying to push you guys back together. And like the synchronicity is showing them too that they can trust this connection. It's showing them that this is a real connection, that this is real love. Uh, let's see what else we can get here. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Yeah, just a very emotional, very close connection. Like, they just feel at home with you. They feel like they belong with you. I think there's been, like, manipulation and deception in the past where they were, like, kind of afraid and they sabotaged it. But they were wanting this new start, you know, adventure, honeymoon, vacation. They are wanting to get past this energy with you. Yeah, they were distracted by some kind of third-party energy in the past. But they're feeling vulnerable and receptive. And now they're trying to push past these distractions. I think it's possible, too, that maybe there was, like, some forces against you guys, too. Like, a third-party force or, like, like black magic or something. Something against you guys, working against you guys, too, that was keeping you apart in the past. And now they're being vulnerable and they're pushing past that energy. And they're like, you know what, I'm not going to let myself be distracted. I'm going to push through that. I'm going to push past any distractions and I'm going to get back to my person here. Um... And they just feel, yeah, just a lot of pain and longing for you and just watching you and seeing what's going on, trying to figure out what to say or do next. Wanting to make these, you know, loyal, stable commitments to you. They've been cold and guarded and distrusting in the past. They've been confused and uncertain and just scared in the past. But they want to move in fast, you know. It's a sudden turn of events. Again, a lot of epiphanies, a lot of truth coming out, you know, choosing you, choosing love. Yeah, ending a break, like having a breakthrough, ending some kind of pattern or cycle, ending these distractions, like cutting, cutting past whatever was keeping you guys apart. You know, in the past, they were overthinking, overanalyzing, sabotaging things. What are they going to do next, though? Yeah, reconcile. They want to reconcile with you. They want to reconcile. They want to make things right. They want to talk to you. They want to know you. They want to understand you. They want a new start with you. Um... I sense them wanting to apologize. I sense them wanting to explain themselves. I sense them, um, I just sense a lot of emotion, a lot of pain, a lot of regret, a lot of longing and um, nostalgia and just desire to be close to you. I think that they do think about you a lot. They do dream about you. I think there's a strong telepathic connection here too. I think that you're feeling their energy and they're feeling yours and you guys are like picking up on each other's energy. Like you think about them out of nowhere and when that happens it's usually because they're thinking about you um and I think this could be something that you pushed away for a while and maybe just recently it's come back up and you're like I can't like you can't ignore this connection anymore you know what I mean like you guys both just have this strong psychic bond with each other and um again there's also a second story here where I, I feel that you're you're meeting somebody um you're all you all possibly also are meeting somebody new where it's like they're picking up on your energy and they're feeling like they're about to meet somebody and they're having dreams about you and they just they don't understand it they're not used to a psychic connection like that but then it's going to be like a love at first sight type of thing probably for you guys it's like just gonna just gonna fall into place just gonna feel right with you guys basically is um yeah that's that's what i'm getting here Lots of loyal, loyal, stable energy. They haven't been stable in the past, but they want to be now. So lots of raw emotion here. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And you know, if this resonates, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. 
Um, and again, if you if you want, um, donate a dollar, and that gets you a raffle ticket. Again, not many people donate, so your chances are pretty good. And on the 22nd, I'll be choosing a winner. And if you win, you get a free in-depth video reading from me. So um, leave your email when you donate. Thanks for watching.